Hey you guys, this is Matt Hobbs from Complete Control Tutorials and over the course of my tutorials I'll be showing you quick steps to controlling any look you want to your photos using Adobe Photoshop. In this occasion we're going to be focusing on creating a kaleidoscope effect. So first you have to open your image and mine should be in a folder called Complete Control Tutorials. My picture is of a cathedral that I saw during my time in Stockholm in 2010. Okay, so now you've got your picture, the first thing you have to do, which in many cases, is duplicate the image by dragging the background layer there, creating a copy then we're going to be using a tool called the single row marquee tool which is a tool that not many people actually use um, but i've managed to find a couple of uh, methods that makes it very useful and one is creating in creating kaleidoscopes so you select the tool and you click in the center of the cathedral like that and then you have to right click in the marching ants so make sure the marching ants is still active right click and then you go to transform selection then you drag this upward to copy the desired area so if you want to copy this then we drag it up then you apply it here you say apply transformation yes Right, and now that area is be has been selected. Then you reselect the single marquee row tool. I should probably tell you, uh, if you press or if you press M, you get the tool. Then what you do is you right click. Again, this time you click on free transform, which is the one above transform selection and you drag it over to the right side of the image which will cover up and have that effect okay and now you've got this sort of weird looking double cathedral going on there now you could leave it like that except for the fact that it, the right side here doesn't exactly match the left side so if you want the whole image to be symmetrical what you can then do is try and copy this area onto there and you do that by first merging this layer so you go to merge visible then you duplicate this background again like I did at the beginning okay so that's now a copy then you select the single marquee, single column marquee tool this time. Make sure I get that right. Then from the center, again, you click it. And you right click and go transform selection. But this time, you drag it over to the left side, to the right side as this is the part that we'd like to copy then as before you apply that okay and then you keep that selected right click oops right click on the ants oh. <laughs> I forgot to uh, reselect this yes yeah, so you have to make sure that you've got single column marquee tool selected and you right click on that and then you go to free transform and then you drag it over to the other side making sure you reach the end and not anywhere further than that and then you apply it and that should be it um, for creating this kaleidoscope effect although I get a bit picky 
um, and want to keep working on it. So, if you want to change the colour of it, um, what I did was use the photo filler tool. Now we've got to make sure that first we merge visible with this layer so that all the effects will only happen on this layer. And then you go to image, adjustments, photo filter. And what I did is I used the orange colour that's already there, or brown, and then I turned the density up. And you get this weird sort of old fashioned look. I mean I was going for a um, sort of I wanted it to look a little weird, not just symmetrical. So that's why I went for this colour. And then you press OK and then you once it's loaded might take a while depending on how slow your computer is. And yep, there you have it. So that was so that is my new version of that image a kind of kaleidoscope effect and you can see the difference by clicking back in the history palette to the beginning and that was how it started and this is how I've changed it and it's just a few simple steps and you can create something which is quite impressive for a tool like the single row and single column marquee tools which in my opinion are very underrated so there you have it if you have any suggestions of any techniques that you'd like me to experiment with then just drop me a comment on the YouTube channel of Complete Control Tutorials thanks for your time and see you soon